What's up, everybody? Poke Chaos here, back for part number four of my Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, I was a little frustrated over some re-recording issues, and now this is going to be my third time re-recording. Well, I guess my second time re-recording. It's my third time recording part four. This is part four. If you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to hit the like button. I'm gonna hope my frustrations don't make this like a negative video. I do know what Brock has. I do know what a couple trainers on Route 3. I'm pointing like you can see. I don't know. I don't know where I'm pointing. I know what a couple trainers on Route 3 has. I know that I have to skip one of the trainers on Route 3. Did I mention if you're enjoying the series, hit the like button. I'm trying to get 10 likes. Sorry if I did. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and go check out the ep previous episodes. I've said this so many times already today, but I just don't remember if I've said it in this video or in the last recording or in the last recording. So I want to make sure I say it. But, let's check out the team. Um, I had to re-record this episode again. Carl, get out of here. You you are a vanilla ish with Harden. I'm going to mention things that I probably mentioned in the last episode. So we have Xavier, the Rock and Roll, level 13, with Headbutt Harden. Harden, Sand Attack, and Tackle. I do know that at level 14, he has a Rock-type move. We have Mozilla, the level 13 Vulpix, with Ember, Fire, Spin, Roar, and Quick Attack. And we have Lauren, the Live Hard, level 13, with Scratch, Sand Attack, Route, and Fairy Swipes. I'm going to go ahead and put Mozilla up front, and we're going to go face Brock for the third time. I... Literally, um, was recording this episode, and the game just crashed. I didn't save from the third episode, so I had to re- like, speed through the entire third episode. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock-hard defense and determination. That's why none of my Pokemon are the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine, then. Show me your moves! Which I've made that joke in every three in all three recordings, but I enjoy the joke, so. So this is cool trainer male. He's got a whimsicott. I know this because I've already fought the whimsicott. We have Mozilla. You know, fire versus grass. Do you start with Leech Seed this time? Like the first time I fight him, he uses Mega Drain first. The second time I fight him, he uses Growth first. And this time he decides to use Leech Seed first turn. But it's fine. We'll take him out with another ember. Uh, Mozilla's not going to stay in here to fight this next Pokemon, which is a Goomy. Um, you know, Goomy is dragon type, but it does learn water moves. This Goomy, in particular, has Bide. Um, I'll mention it. I've said it like three times already. But in red and blue randomizers, whether it's this particular randomizer that you have, you know, all Pokemon from all gens in, or whether it's just a regular randomizer where you're only randomizing the first gen Pokemon, the, tr the gym leaders will have Pokemon that have the move of the TM they give. Brock gives Bide, one of his Pokemon's gonna have Bide. I think... I know in the regular randomizers it works that way. Um, I got a critical hit again. The last time I did it, I got a crit, but I think I got like three hits. I didn't kill him in one hit. But with, like with this, um, with Fury Swipes, if the first hit's critical hit, they're all critical hit. If... Can I hit this thing? If the first hit isn't critical hit, none of them are going to be critical hit. There's a lot of Gen 1 things like that that are completely different in the new games. Like, I know in the newer games, if you use something like Fury Swipes, you can get one that's not critical hit and one that is. At this point, I just don't want to give him energy to unleash with by so I keep using Growl even though it doesn't do anything. We do beat the Goomy. It's good. I get past Brock for the third time. It's proof of your victory. Here's the Boulder Badge. 
That's why I got the Boulder Badge. It's an official Pokemon League Badge. Blah, 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 blah. He gives me... Well, no, he tells me I can use Flash. And then he gives me a TM, which normally would be Abide. Uh, it, the TMs are randomized in this game. And it's randomized to Bullet Seed. None of my Pokemon can learn it. Simple as that. I'm not gonna... not going to go and look at the TM. I'm gonna keep the TM. If it was buy it, I would've sold it. But there's no point in trying to teach it to somebody if I know nobody's gonna learn it. So I'm gonna heal here. Now, I don't remember if I actually mentioned in the specific recording of the last episode. But there is a trainer on this route that if I want to keep my sanity, and if I want to continue the lock, I have to skip. Absolutely have to skip. I know it might be, like, considered cheating or something, but if I want to keep my sanity, if I want to keep... if I want to win the lock, I have to skip that youngster up there. In the top right hand corner. I'll come back to him if I get some Pokemon that will be able to handle him. But right now my team, he's like the counter to my team. So, okay. You know what, actually I think I can take this thing out with Lauren. I don't think this thing has any fighting type moves just yet. Yeah, sand attack, which is annoying. But he's not hitting me with it, which is nice. Okay, focus energy. Uh, I've probably mentioned this, but maybe not, because it could have been in the last episode in one, of the, in one of the recordings. But focus energy in this game decreases your ability to get a critical hit. Focus energy is bad in general. Ear screeching leer! I've mentioned it the last two times I fought this Kangaskhan. I don't know how well it's going to go over on the video, but it, like, puts a ringing in my ears. So Xavier doesn't get level 14. He got level 14 there last time, but whatever. So you're wondering how am I going to skip this trainer? Well, I have a lock through loss code put in right now. Um, it's not enabled because that's what I tried to do last time, and I think that's what screwed it up. It, like, reset the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... It's going to get a little awkward for a second during the video. I'm going to... Just enable the code, go past him, and... I'm going to disable the code right afterwards so I don't get anything happening. When the code's disabled, it's like it's not even there. Uh, I'm gonna fire spin this thing. Okay. Okay, I don't know if I've explained fire spin. The attack continues. He doesn't get the chance to attack. Um, it can go for anywhere between two and five turns, I think. And if you pop, if you pair it up with something like Toxic, it's gonna... You're gonna do both the Fire Spin damage and the Toxic damage, and you're gonna destroy your opponents. Thank you for hitting that number. Mozilla probably will get level 15 right here and run Confuse Ray. Alright, y'all get rid of Roar, because Roar is not a good move. In-game, just in general, not good in Gen 1 at all. So... Lipard did get poisoned, um, there's no way that I'll, like what happened is I had to walk through walls code enabled and I went back and I ended up going into the mark using the code, but I went in through the side and it like froze the game. It's my fault, um, but it just kind of screwed up the recording, whereas the first time I was recording this, my mic wasn't recording for whatever reason, and I realized it halfway into the video, and instead of leaving it alone and possibly post-commentating, 
I decided to mess with it during the video, and it just screwed up everything. So, it's gonna get a little awkward right here. You're gonna probably see the mouse. Yeah, I can see it right there. I'm gonna go to... You can't see me going to the cheat list, but essentially that's what I want to do. Again, if I get a Pokemon that can handle him, I'll come back. So I'm also not going to fight that guy down the ledge because I'm not taking my chances. Of... Actually, did I... It's going to get a little awkward again. I just want to make sure... Yeah, I did. Okay. I wanted to make sure that I actually... Okay. Okay, well, this is part steel. So that's fine. I was kind of worried because I was thinking I didn't have anything for a steel type. But I, I do have Ember, I do have Fire Spin, honestly. And fire Spin, so you can't really touch me. Okay, the one Fire Spin takes him out. Excadrill. Please don't have Dig. Or. I think that's the only ground move you would have at this point, would be Dig. So Mozilla gets level 16, which is nice. Chinchino, I should be able to. Oh, I'll use Xavier. Ooh. Don't do this to me. Sleep is another annoying thing in first gen. That's not cool. Okay. I was just kind of annoyed there. Uh... Xavier does learn Rock Blast on the 14 here, though. We go to Harden. Sand Attack has proven its usefulness. Oh, well, that's easy. Go out to Xavier. See, when you wake up, it uses your turn. This should kill. Easy. Four times super effective. Xavier now gets level 15. Um, I'm gonna skip her too, and if I can't, okay, I can't skip him. But I'm gonna try to skip as many trainers as I can so I can get my encounters. So maybe I can get an encounter to fight that one trainer. We crick a tune here. Um, hopefully it doesn't have like a super powerful bug attack that destroys me because this game does have. This game does have some newer moves, as you can tell with Rock Blast. Rock Blast is not a Gen 1 move. Um, I don't rem remember if the Blastoise used Flash Cannon, but Flash Cannon, again, is not a Gen 1 move. Steel-type didn't exist back then. Ooh, Conk Helder. Mozilla should be able to handle this. This thing... This thing is more nightmare fuel. Okay, I'm glad I continued to uh, Confuse Ray in there, because I, for some reason I thought Confuse Ray got rid of the bide. But it didn't, so I'm glad I confuse rate again. Instead of trying to do damage to him. Done like dinner. Okay, that's So, new encounter time. I know there's a trainer in here, and I don't know if she moves. So I'm gonna try to avoid her as well. A samurai! That is all I'm gonna scratch it. Don't kill. Scratched again. Um, this helps so much if I can catch this thing. I may have to heal. I need some more potions too. So 
No, 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 I don't want to attack. I really could use this samurai. One more before I heal. Nope. This is freaking free. I'm not gonna catch this thing. Like, there's no way I can injure it more, which is kind of a sucky thing. Come on. I'm gonna throw the last Pokeball. Unfortunately, no Samurai for me. Um, I'm gonna make my way. I'm actually really glad I didn't get that Steelix. I think that was the last trainer. Pretty sure none of these other people that are walking around over here are trainers. I do get a guaranteed Pokemon in the Pokemon as long as I have 500 Pokemon, which I should. See what that is. Hello there, have I got a deal for you? I'll let you have a swell magic harp for just five hundred dollars. Yep. Do you want to give a nickname to Burmy? I I'm trying to think of a name that I don't like, but... <sighs> this is like a Family Guy joke. Oh, this is like a Family Guy joke. It's not necessarily I don't like... I, I don't kind of like the name, but... There's an episode where it's like, oh, what's the least appealing boy's name? And they say Keith. Not using Burmy. Um, I'm going to. I'm not going to deposit Carl. Because Carl is at least an ice type. Carl can be used. Do I heal? I healed, right? Okay. So I don't have any Pokeballs. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to use the walkthrough walls code again. I'm going to have to use it twice. Some more awkwardness. I, just, I don't want to battle her. I. Ah, oh, I I forgot that I didn't battle her. That's fine. That's not fine. This thing has Zap Cannon. Okay. I don't think I can take this thing out. I'm... Okay, I died. Whoppity. Not a fighting type, so why not this thing? I don't want to say nightmare fuel. This thing just looks disastrous. Okay. So, yet again, some awkwardness is going to happen. You're going to see the mouse. The music's going to go away. Like my controller kind of froze for a minute, and I thought I... I thought the game screwed up. But I'm okay. I turned the code off. This episode's gonna be a little bit longer. Um, but I... I want that other encounter. I'm 
by 10. I'm gonna buy six potions. That was weird. I'm gonna buy one escape rope. Because I know how. <laughs> See, right now I can't walk through walls. The code is off. I'm not gonna screw anything up. I really feel like I need that encounter. Like, that Samurai would have definitely boosted my my mood if I could have caught it. If I can catch something decent, if I can get a water type, a grass type, an electric type, I will be so happy. Or if I can get a Salamence. Preferably... A salamence, not a bagon or a shellgon a salamence. Okay, so we're we're good. There's three trainers I haven't battled. I mean, I would have caught it probably if I ran into a pat rat. I probably would have caught it. Seriously, a Burmy, of all things, Wormadom's not good. Could have been any other bug Pokemon, and I would have actually been okay with it. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and try to find- Okay, an encounter, right here. I'm okay with this! As long as you don't die. To a scratch. Okay. Um, I think off screen I'm gonna grind up Carl to level 16. Maybe he'll learn a new move. Maybe not. I don't know. You just saw me save, so I if I screw up, I can't fix anything now. If you guys enjoyed the episode, do make sure to hit the like button. I do would would love to get 10 likes at least on this episode. If you want to get more. Go for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.